Welcome to MarlaMiller.com. I'm Marla Miller presenting my 26th Quick Query Critique on the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. Um, before, I, before I read the critique, which is children's book, which is great because we haven't done too many of those, um, I want to give a shout out to three women who uh, have contributed to MarlaMiller.com and I'm beholding to all three of them. Catherine Ryan Hyde has a, about a three and a half minute uh, video on MarlaMiller.com that I asked her to do. Uh, she is marketing her latest um, Jumpstart the World. Uh, she, I think it's her 14th novel. She's a Knopf published author and um, does so much of her own marketing. So I thought she'd be interesting for you guys to hear what she has to say. And also Claire Lezebnik, who's um, Sixth book, fourth novel, If You Lived Here, You'd Be Home Now, uh, was featured at MarlaMiller.com. Um, I met Claire a while ago. Uh, she was at the Southern California Writers Conference uh, as the keynote speaker, and she sat down with us and um, chatted about marketing our muse. Uh, so thank you, Claire. And then Vicki Paddock, who I wouldn't have any of or most of my videos without Vicki. Uh, Vicki is an award-winning screenwriter and um, filmographer extraordinaire. Uh, she just came back from Japan. She's working on a documentary and uh, I'll be delighted to be presenting more of that when she's ready. But thank you to Vicki as well. Okay, so now that I've got all of that housekeeping out of the way, I want to go ahead and read this uh, letter. Where's my glasses? Uh, again, it's young, no, not young adult, it's children's. Okay, dear blank. Tom Sullivan is a man. Okay, a seventh grade boy with a plan. Being the shortest boy in his class is definitely not on, especially when the class tough guy, Pete Willoughby, slams him with the nickname Shorty and just won't let it go. Tom develops a list of five things he must do to grow taller ASAP. Green drinks, medieval torture racks. He'll do it all if it will make him taller and get Willoughby off his case. It's the final humiliation when Willoughby plasters Tom's growth plan all over the school. Tom snaps and hatches another plan, a venomous scheme to take the bully down. Things get wildly out of control and more than just the bully get hurt, leaving Tom with only one choice to reverse his shocking transformation from nice to nasty, a face-to-face -face showdown with Willoughby. In Shorty, my completed 19,000 word middle grade novel, Tom discovers that it's not your height but who you are that makes you tall. Shorty is a story about bullying, revenge, forgiveness, and choosing who you want to be. I've been published in Blank Magazine and I am active member of several writers groups as well as the Blank. I have an educational background in nursing. Thank you for your attention to my query. I look forward to your response. Sincerely. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> just a couple of things because uh, it, it doesn't need much. It's good. I like it. Um, I would, and this goes uh, for all authors, make sure, because I'm not the expert in, in, in um, word count for genres. So um, this is middle school. It, she's got this uh, novel at 19,000 words. So just make sure that you're in the, you know, the um, framework of what uh, middle school novels um, expect. So um, I, I just want to uh, kind of thump that because when, when I get these query letters and they say, you know, 80,000 word, whatever, um, it's your genre, so you make sure that you're writing to your genre specifications. Okay, that's number one. Number two, I would check a few sentences that don't quite, I, I'm thinking there's some typo errors here. Uh, the second sentence, um, check that uh, when she says, um, shortest boy in his class is definitely not on. I think she meant another word. Um, but I like this, and here's why I like it. It's uh, it's timely, and while we never write to Jean, to um, trends because we can't, this is an author who's writing something that she obviously is passionate about, bullying, and she just happens to have finished this at a time when bullying is getting so much attention. So I would not let any grass grow under this query letter. I would get it out ASAP to the right agents. Um, and those would be agents that, that want um, middle school. Okay, that's number one. So um, I would also take a look at... 
Yeah, you know what? I, I was going to say she might want to take a look at that first paragraph again and just make sure that that story arc is the way she wants it delivered. Because what we have is a, the victim turns into the perpetrator and then he has his moment of uh, reckoning and decides that he doesn't want to be a perpetrator. He wants to do the right thing. So it's a lovely story. I love it. I love the arc of the story. Um, but just make sure that that it is written as tightly as you can as you can write it and with and I won't say any more than that um, I wish this author luck and I would love for her to keep us posted on this one because I think that uh, I would guess she'll get some attention on this just because um, she's crafted it well um, I'm hooked first paragraphs got me hooked and it's very timely so until the next time I'm gonna take off for Thanksgiving so I won't be back until next Tuesday but um, until we meet again I hope that you enjoy the content that's on MarlaMiller.com this week you'll have maybe a little more time to study it uh, with our four-day Thanksgiving holiday I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving with you and yours and until we meet again keep writing <music>